Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the last portion here, which is to resample this image. And this is kind of a combination of, of both cropping, resizing in Photoshop, and also a resampling. Now, I've gone ahead and opened the original image. This is the really big guy. And I'm going to start by, first of all, I'm going to get rid of this white around that. And of course, that's just a simple crop kind of deal. And depending on the image you chose, you may or may not have to do that, right? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, in truth, on my particular image, since most of my image is on the interior, but I don't necessarily want to get rid of the um, the matting, as it were, I might even crop it down a, a, a bit more. And, of course, anytime I'm doing this, I'm going to be changing the uh, file size as well as the dimensions of, of the image itself. So perhaps this is an image that I am now happy with. Now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and save it, do a file, save for web, and here's where I want to start talking about resampling pieces here. Now one of the things that we know, as I pointed out in the cropping video, here, um, this has actually exploded it to 17 megs. This is the original image, and this, of course, is going to be the highest fidelity of that image over there. And over here, we can see that it's been reduced to a GIF at 5 megs. But because this is a photo, I'm going to go ahead and swap this out to a JPEG straight away. And so I don't lose as much of a resolution, but I certainly improve from 17 megs down to 1.37 megs. I'm also going to change this to a thousand pixels wide and constrain that proportion. And now I can see the uh, differences between the original JPEG, which is over here on my left hand side. Now keep in mind, this is 1.94 megs right now. That's because it's been shrunk, physically shrunk down to a uh, an image that's only a thousand pixels wide. And this is still a JPEG over here in terms of its translation. Now it's only 129 kilobytes, which is pretty good. However, I can also tweak it a little bit further by going to a low resolution. And once I do that, notice I can drop it down to 32, but here's where the art of this comes in. You have to make a decision. Did that resolution, dropping it down to the low resolution portion, did it lose so much that you don't like the image anymore? So you can begin to see that, you know, the image over here of the chair, perhaps, is nice and clean. Here we tend to lose that. And so we may not want to go with low. We may want to go with medium and we get a little bit better and we can certainly go to high. So in this exercise what I want you to do is I want you to take an image, go ahead and resize it to whatever is appropriate for your page, but then I want you to um, work on different types of translations either to JPEG or to PNG or to GIF and determine what is the better combination for your particular photo. What gets you the best results? Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to ping as well and here it is as a 459k which is substantially better um, than, I'm sorry, substantially larger than what was in the JPEG even at the JPEG high. And here is the GIF which is even larger. GIF really isn't appropriate here because this is a photograph GIFs are not uh, any more than 256 colors, so it really has to make it blocky to make that happen. The other thing I can do, too, to get a sense of what I'm doing, fortunately I can't show it to you on my screen, but all the way here at the bottom left is a zoom. So if I wanted to zoom in by 200% or even go further in by 300%, you can start to see on a closer piece what these little changes are doing so that if I wanted to get a much better resolution I could do that. Notice that by flipping this to a JPEG I get a smaller file size. Didn't lose a whole lot in terms of, of um, clarity. But certainly if I go down to a low I really start pixelating here even though I can get a super small file size. Now at the end of the day 
depending on how large the image is and what you're using it for, that might be fine because it might be so small that nobody really notices the pixelation. But your exercise is to go ahead and take your image, resample, resize it to a point where you can live with it, and then go ahead and save it and insert it into your web page. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to actually reduce him to about 500. Click Apply. And once again, I'm still seeing an awful lot of pixelization here. In, in my particular case, again, if I don't intend to use this as a background, it's fine. But even once I start getting way down, I'm still not real happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that back up to high. <clears throat> Notice here that I'm still coming in at a decent 9.63 kilobytes, having dropped that from 17 megabytes. That's a huge compression, and that's really the goal of this type of exercise. See you in a minute.